Welcome to Who's Number One, where we preview the top 10 teams in the country. I'm Chaz. And I'm Sarah. Now, without question, Florida is the number one team. Why? Because they have a pitching staff that has a .87 ERA. Nobody can hit them. Alicia Ocasio is dynamite on the mound. I think what makes them totally different is the dynamic in the bullpen. Like, Coach Rocha has put this staff together that is totally a team of we instead of a team of me. Yeah, it's... I didn't think anybody could replace Lauren Hager, and nobody, no one person can, but these three have, and they've, they've proven it over and over. Now, Auburn still holds down the number two spot for me. They have still one of the best offenses in the country. I know a lot of people are going to say Michigan should be number two. They've only lost two games. Auburn's lost four. They come in at number three for us because at the end of the day, Auburn's explosive offense still beats Michigan's pitching for me. Oh, yeah, 100%. Number four, I'm going to say Oregon. You know, they started off like super rocky, dropping some games against Nebraska and losing and coming from behind, but they seem to really be hitting their stride. Yeah, I definitely, I agree. I, de I think they're definitely hitting their stride and they're the number one offense in the country this, this right now. And it showed in the Washington series when they scored 34 runs in three games yeah. versus the Huskies. I, I think they're a solid top five choice right now. Yeah. And now the Raging Cajuns just dropped one spot, but you know what? We're going to find out what the Raging Cajuns are made of when they face off against number one Florida in just two weeks. The Cajuns are a strong team. Like It's just it's just a matter of strength of schedule. Yeah. I, I know that they beat this. They took the series versus Oregon. We just need to see them play better teams. Um, coming in after the Raging Cajuns, a and has been super impressive. We, we knew they were going to be good at the beginning of the year. We just didn't know how good. They went 5-0 at Mary Nutter, and and then they took the series versus LSU, and we're super impressed with them. We want to see what they have going on versus Auburn, Alabama, and Florida the rest of the season. I think what makes them so different is that they've got like an extremely young, talented group, but they seem to be a, such a great unit, and with like the stellar pitching and clutch hitting, I mean, they could, they could beat any of the teams in the SEC. I agree. I agree they're a top team in the SEC. Speaking of the SEC, LSU comes in after AM. They just they have a great talented group of individuals, but they're just consistently inconsistent. You can say that as a team. Oh 100 percent I mean they have Carly Hoover, Allie Wall, Wall Jasper, Bianca Bell, Savannah Jaquish, like Amber Sarrett, Bailey Landry. I mean the list goes on and on as for like all Americans on this team. But like my question is is do they have the right chemistry? Do can they really take home a World Series? And I'm not sure. Yeah, we haven't seen we haven't seen the consistency we need to see out of them to make them a top five team at this point. But we can definitely see whether or not a, well a World Series preview this weekend. True story. True story. More on that flow showdown coming up. LSU and Florida. Alabama drops for us from five to number eight. Um, I just weren't super impressed with what we saw at Easton. We got to see them live and they were a good team. They lost a heartbreaker to OU. That game could have gone either way. Uh, their offense just isn't super impressive to us and the only thing that I see really see with them, the standout is Alexis Osorio. Yeah, and losing Demi Turner, their star second baseman, was uh, a blow to like leadership in the infield and a hitter batting over 400. So, I mean, you're going to see kind of a different dynamic over the next few weeks on defense and in, in offense for Alabama. The Duke Dogs. Uh, we like what we see from them. They just don't, it's the same thing with Louisiana Lafayette. They don't have a strong schedule, so it's really hard to place them among these SEC schools. I would expect them to, if they are the real deal, they should blow through conference undefeated. I mean, that... They have to. If they're going to stay in the same conversation as these teams, they have to completely dominate their conference. Absolutely. Now coming in at the 10th spot, Washington. Washington one was really high on our list, kind of like after the second weekend of Mary Nutter with some key wins against Michigan, but they straight up got whooped this weekend by Oregon. They did, they did. And it was surprising because they have the third best offense in the country, and they really show flashes of being great. Allie Agliar is one of the best hitters in the country. I think she has one of the most R RBIs. Um, 
I think it's just a consistency issue yeah. uh, that we're seeing with some of the other teams. I think what we see too is like we're seeing difference of play in preseason versus conference. Some like season conference teams know how to turn it on. I mean, they have won conference uh, year after year, and it looks like they might do it again. Yeah. Some of these teams who have been there and seen really good competition know how to win. They understand how to win. Um, and we want to see some of these other teams, JMU, URL, who haven't been in the top 10 conversation, actually face off and beat these top 10 teams. Yeah, 100%. But I'm super stoked to see Florida and LSU this weekend. It's our flow showdown of the week, people. You don't want to miss this. Uh, these teams have met 56 times in their history. LSU actually wins that with 32 wins. Last time they met was in the Women's College World Series and Florida took care of the LSU for nothing. So we're going to see, we're going to see if LSU can hand Florida their second win on the season. Yeah, and if you want to watch more college softball, you can catch so many of these teams like Florida and LSU on flowsoftball.com.